She says the state needs to get tough on kids committing grown-up crimes. Yeah, twice in six months, that gun store owner has been hit by thieves. Both times, she believes it was teens doing someone else's dirty work. Five on your side, investigator Scott Knoll is live in the newsroom to break it all down. Yeah, Frank, that Broadview Heights gun store owner says two people arrested for yesterday's break-in are both 16-year-olds. Last summer, she says it was a 14- and 15-year-old busted for stealing guns from her, and she says the reason why comes down to simple math. To fully understand, I just want to choke him. <laughs> the owner of Stonewall Gun Shop says you have to watch the crooks in action. I want people to see how these juvenile delinquents were brutal physical smashing showcases grabbing 29 guns and disappearing out her front door early yesterday to know that a gun could be in the hands of a criminal that could take a law-abiding citizen life is just gut-wrenching a sick feeling made worse by fears these guys could get off with a slap on the wrist if an adult were to do it it's 10 years they catch an adult you know it's 10 years these kids are in juvie <clears throat> until they're 18. She believes it's a loophole bad guys have figured out. Use a kid to commit your crime and they'll likely face less time. The state of Ohio needs to step up and say, wait a minute, because these firearms that are being stolen are being used in murders, in robberies. An ATF spokeswoman wouldn't confirm the ages of the thieves arrested for this break-in. 13 of the 29 stolen guns were found. Whether it's for a break in at a licensed gun dealer or any other sort of federal gun charges. We always work cooperatively with the agencies and the other localities that are involved to make sure that the person is prosecuted in the most appropriate venue. But after two break ins in six months, this store owner believes things have to change. She plans to write state lawmakers asking for requirements to make sure crimes like this aren't handled with kid gloves. This is an adult crime. This is not a kid crime. It's not bubble gum you're st stealing from a 7-Eleven. She's hoping once investigators track down the other guys involved in yesterday's break-in, they'll be able to find more of the missing guns. And it's not just her store, just here in Cleveland. She just got back from a gun buyer's show and says teens are being used to break into stores all over the country. Live in the newsroom on 5 on your side, investigator Scott Knoll.